hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to download a file to the downloads folder in android uh, using expo react native so this is an android specific video for expo react native so let's get started so firstly you will have to create a project uh, now there are different templates which expo provides so i'll just quickly show you that so here you can see you can pick uh, any of this template i will be using this blank typescript template so for this blank typescript template i just need to run this particular command i will go to my project or workspace directory and i'll just paste this particular command now it will ask me for my project name i'll just give it as my app and it will download all the dependencies for us now uh, i am not installing any third party libraries i am doing this via native code uh, so it's up to you whether you want to follow along or not uh, but uh, if you see my uh, project so it is it has created this my app folder my app uh, project so i will just quickly open that inside vs code so here you can see that it has not created the android folder for us so to write native code we require the android folder uh, so the next step which once our project is created is we have to go to this particular url over here so i'll quickly open that as well <clears throat> and here you can see uh, i'll select android device here i will select development build and here i will disable the es option uh, then i am on mac os so i have already installed watchman and this uh, zulu and java home also i have set i have already installed android studio as well if you haven't done this already uh, you will have to do it and uh, I will just scroll down. I have already done this as well. This also is done and then I just need to run this particular command. So I'll just copy this and I will go to my app. So CD my app and I'll just paste this particular command. Uh, once the command is pasted, it will again do some NPM installation. We don't have to worry about it. But if you scroll down even more, we will uh, see you will see this particular command. So this will help us to create the Android folder which I'm talking about. So again, I'll just copy this particular command and i'll paste it over here now firstly it will ask us for our package name i am keeping everything as default so i will just click on enter but if you want you can change the package name as well uh, now again this will take little bit of time so be patient but if you see our project now it has created the android folder for us <clears throat> now uh, just to make it easy for myself i have already created a sample project and i will be copying a code from uh, that particular sample project which i created before recording this video so don't get confused so i'll just open this app.tsx and i'll copy all the code and then i will explain it to you so first i will go to app.tsx of our project and i'll just replace this with this particular code so basically <clears throat> what i am doing is that uh, okay let's come back over here uh, i'll explain that app.tsx in a bit but here you can see that uh, i'm getting this error this error is fine because uh, it couldn't find any android emulator i haven't installed any android emulator and i haven't connected my real device to my mac os yet i will connect it later so that's why this is uh, giving me an error it couldn't find any device this is fine okay there is one more thing which i want to tell you is we will have to create a separate native module as well so for that you can go to this particular url and i will just open this inside new tab and from this uh, it if you want you can go through the documentation basically i will just copy this particular command i will copy it and i will just paste it over here now again it will ask me what should be the module name i will keep everything as default and just keep on entering enter 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 so i just click enter enter and enter now given that this is done uh, this is uh, yeah so again i'm not following it for ios only for android so here you can see my module name is my module now i will go to app.tsx which i have shown you uh, so this was my app.tsx right uh, here i am importing this uh, method called download file which we will have to create so first go to our module here is our src and here is uh, sorry you will have to go to index.ts not src index.ts and here you can see they have already created a sample function so what i'll do i'll just copy this function and i'll paste it over here now what we want is we want our file name method name to be download file right so i'll just name it as download file now again i'll go back to my practice project uh, because i don't want to mess things up uh, that's why i'll just open index.ts and here i'll just copy this okay 
so basically we are letting typescript know that inside our native module we will create a function called download file it will take three parameters url of the file which which we want to download the name of the file and the extension okay sometimes even from the url you can figure out the name and extension but just i'm just being explicit if you want you can just combine this in one you are in one parameter itself and here we will have to define this method called download file on native side which i will talk about later but it typically takes a url name and extension so now i can just import this download file method inside my module this add change event listener is present by default which i will show you later on and this add uh, i will show you right now only so if you see uh, go to src my modules dot types dot ts here you can see there is this change event payload which takes a value which gives us a value sorry so here you can see value is present by default and if you go to index.ts <coughs> here you can see the add event change uh, add add change listener sorry uh, so that's why uh, we don't have to this will help us to send data from uh, native android side to uh, react native side but here you can see i also need this is downloaded value as well so what i can do if there is any error i will send the value of the error inside this particular value uh, key uh, if it is downloaded successfully then i will just created is downloaded boolean as true i will pass that as true okay but you can play around or you keep your own keys however you feel like <clears throat> so that's what i am doing so i am listening for this and if you see i have just created one button and on click of it we are calling this download file method which we have defined here i am passing my url now i have created one like uploaded some sample pdf file on my firebase storage but you don't have to use firebase you can upload it to your server or wherever you feel like and this is my file name called my file and this is the extension for it so pretty simple on app.tsx side uh, next uh, you will have to go to the android folder go to src uh, android menu oh no go to java and here we will have to go to my module view dot kt no not sorry my module dot kt okay i'll close everything else because we don't really need everything i'll just close this i'll close it. again i'll go back to my practice project i'll go to android src main java expo modules my module and here i will just open my module dot kt okay now i will copy uh, all the code which i have uh, which i want so firstly i'll copy all these imports i will explain it to you later on what exactly i'm doing so here you can see there is lot of boilerplate code already created for us so i'll just paste this imports okay uh, then we require the context as well as the activity again i'll explain it to you in a bit first i'll copy all the code i'll come over here i'll paste it uh, then we need this as well sorry i'll just do this okay i'll just copy this entire thing and i'll paste it over here <coughs> okay then here i have this download file method which i will just copy i'll scroll down and you will have to define it over here i'll explain it to you let me copy it first and then here is our download method this 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 <coughs> so I'll just copy this paste over here okay then I'll copy this as well and i'll paste it over here okay now i will just scroll up i'll just close this so i'll just scroll up so firstly you have to copy all these imports which i have you can just copy paste it then i have created one context as well as an activity because we need this then here this is the path where our download directory of android os is located this is the download manager and this is the download id and this will help us to uh, whenever you pass a file uri and start downloading it uh, this broadcast receiver gets called even i have just copy pasted it from the documentation you can do the same thing uh, this will help us to uh, save the file uh, copy the file to our downloads uh, folder 
so again i have just copy pasted here we have to use something called content values which even i'm i don't have much experience with so you can just copy paste all this code this is very tricky code which uh, i have just copy pasted okay and here you can see that uh, once it is successful i am changing the is downloaded to to back to uh, react native side so this is downloaded okay next uh, this all code is present by default so just scroll down and here is if you see this is my download file function so it takes the file name and here you can see it registers our receiver and here we call this on download complete and then we call this download method which passes the url to it and here we again we start the download manager we set the network type set the notification visibility as well as destination in external file directory then we create a download manager and here is our download id now this entire thing i have just copy pasted from stack overflow <laughs> maybe you can do the same thing i don't know how to explain this because even i don't understand it so i'll simply scroll through this uh, pause the feel free to pause the video wherever you feel like and uh, just copy paste all this code So again this also I have copied uh, this also I have copied like it is basically handling different types of file types uh, for downloading it so this is get file path it is get driver file path again sorry I'm not really good at this then he this and this again I have copied it so yeah now I'll just scroll up I'll just simply scroll down if you have missed anything you can just copy paste it <coughs> feel free to pause the video wherever you feel like So yeah that's it uh, now I will just uh, run the application uh, and show you guys the output. Our application is running and I just wanted to show you my downloads folder here you can see it has two images these are not from our app okay. Now what I'll do uh, given that I have installed my app I'll just go back to my app I'll just dismiss this and here you can see this is our download button I'll just click on it and at the top you also see this uh, notification bar with the progress and here you can see download complete now if i go to the downloads folder here you can see my pdf has been downloaded and i can just open it as well if the user wants to this is the sample pdf which i am using so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye